I realise now what I forgot to say earlier. Everybody, welcome to the Hatter's Domain. The city created by the maddest person in all of Wonderland. Except maybe Alice. But seemingly she's quite sane. I uh, know, I, I never really was into the whole Mal um, Alice in Wonderland. There were some parts of it I didn't really read into. So I don't know who the most insane person is, but I'm pretty sure it is the Hatter. Because there's that saying, mad as a hat. And he's the Mad Hatter. So, you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm just sitting there playing Alice, and I was thinking about it for a moment. You know the Olympics? Um, you know there's the countries that take part. Well, in the past I studied the Soviet Union, the United States of America, and basically some of the more capitalist countries, the communist countries, their history, and Cold War, and so forth. And what the Olympics is always a very interesting time of the year for myself and my family, because what we usually do is, we sit down on the sofa, and near to the end of the Olympics, we count up all the medals that countries that would have been part of the Soviet state um, have gained. So, for example, by now I think Russia has 15 or 14 golds. We'd count those off. We'd then say, uh, Ukraine, I think, has five. Um, Lithuania has one. Latvia has one. Estonia has, like, however many silvers. And a couple of other countries have uh, many goals. And we would count those up. And then we would say, okay, what would the Olympics look like um, on the scoreboard, medal scoreboard, about, say, 20 or so years ago? When you would have counted the, so the Soviet state as a whole, its medals, just to see what lineup it would have come in. Now, for example, at the moment, I think Russia is in fourth and Great Britain is in third. And that doesn't look likely to change. But from the medals thing, if it had been Soviet Union, I think they would have been third. And obviously, um, we know that the Soviet Union had a reputation for being somewhat forceful with its um, Olympiads. I mean, there was a bad reputation where many people used to say, oh yeah, the Soviet Union tortured or threatened to kill Olympiads or gave them steroids and stuff. I think for the most part this was just a genetic, like, um, a lie. Because, you know, like, every... It's like the French. Every year, really, since the British, British cyclists have won, the French have complained that we use something like, um, some sort of illegal wheels or something that are faster than they should be so that we can win our races. Which is funny, because our wheels are made by the French. So, we can't be che possibly be cheating unless they are. But the idea has still been the same that many people would have thought would have had prejudices against the Soviet Union, so would have assumed on the whole that bad practice is used. Just a bunch of lies, really. I mean, we all make up lies about what we don't know, don't we? And what we fear. And I, we all know for certain, a country which does not believe in the idea of private companies, when facing a country which is built on private industry, it's not likely that there's going to be unbiased accusations towards either, from either side. I mean, I could go on a lot longer as in going into the actual roots of how they could have such an aggression towards each other. But I'm not sh um, because of... I'm not sure if, it, if it's right to talk about it though in, um, at this early stage of Alice in Wonderland. Because um, later on, it becomes more, it will become more important. Because there are a lot of things that sound both um, these are old sayings, but capitalists and communists have been spoken by some of the leaders. But for now, this is more, shall we say, imperialistic. Because the Mad Hatters, you saw, we were on the fringe of his domain before. So I'm assuming when the Mad Caps appeared, we must have entered the Hatters, technically the Hatters' um, domain or his home ground. I'm assuming the Hatter is like um, a king of these people, possibly, maybe even a dictator. And I'm assuming he got his position because of the power he has. 
as opposed to a, being born into it. Which there, there are a few sayings I like the Spartans for. They used to say something about, um, do you know there's actually a famous saying that they, they asked the Spartans once. This is completely off topic by the way. But they said to them, um, why, why doesn't Sparta have a democracy? And a guy actually turned around and said, if you want Sparta to have a democracy, start with your family. And the point being, in every family, you don't have a democracy system, do you? It goes, it for the most part, either mum or dad makes decisions, children follow. Or children complain, but must complain to their mum or their dad. Either way, the power structure goes at your mum or your dad. It's not a democracy. If it was a democracy, then what the children say should go. Because there's more in most families, there's more children than there are parents. I mean, certainly in the nucleus family, nuclear family, which is the term for a family where you have one mother, one father, and two children. I think for the most part, if the children can agree with each other, then they would have full control of, the, of a democratic family system. But they don't, so proves a point, I suppose, about democracy and dictatorships, in that, though we call ourselves a democracy, we're still, a, we're still um, bound by the rules of monarchy, imperialism, dictatorships. I mean, what, you can't, it's, it's been an argument that's gone along, on for a very long time, and I pride myself in that I always want to look into the finer points of these arguments. How they can progress as they are, um, how these people can say these things. Like, it was always said, um, a democracy is better than any other form. But then how can you say this when you have not tried anything else? It's just nonsense to say one way is better than another when you haven't tried it. I mean, I said for a long time that, um, what do you call it, medium chocolate was better than white chocolate. That wasn't because I try white chocolate on a regular occasion. And I even say dark chocolate is worse than um, milk chocolate. I don't do eat dark chocolate on a regular occasion. What I do eat on a regular occasion is milk chocolate. So my decision is somewhat biased in that I haven't lived off the other one. For a good deal of time I used to say that a lot of things were better than other things without even trying them. For a time I always said, I used to say um, American football is not a sport, it's just, I don't know, rugby was slightly more, with more violent fans. But then again I've never watched an American football game in my life whereas I have watched rugby. Excuse me my point. But I guess that's the end of this session so till next time.